Hi friends, today we are explain about aluminium quantity surveying and estimation. First I will tell I am not an expert in aluminium estimation. But one of my friends frequently asking about one video. That's why whatever I know that I will explain through these videos. Okay. First I will tell about myself. I was working in Dubai. Now, almost two years only I worked in this aluminium field. I am a civil engineer. That's why I have experience in construction field. But I got first job in aluminium company. That's why I worked in that one. When I came here in Dubai, first I got in one aluminium company. One job. That's why I have some experience in this aluminium quantity surveying and estimation. In aluminium, there are two many sections we are using for making aluminium doors and windows. Now, I will explain here about Gulf extrusion sections. Uh, in Dubai, normally we are using Gulf extrusions, most of the companies, but in the too many international sections also is there. Uh, like um, Shuko system, system, ESC system, Shuko system, all are international standard sections. But I am explaining about this um, Gulf extrusion. Actually, I know about uh, Gulf extrusion only. That's why I will explain about uh, Gulf extrusion. In Gulf, all um, sections, we have two types. Thermal break and non-thermal break sections are there. In Gulf extrusion also two types are there. Thermal break and non-thermal break sections. Aluminium is coming like that. Thermal break and non-thermal break. Thermal break sections. Thermal break sections and non-thermal break. Non-thermal break sections. Um, all profiles, they will have one catalog book where, where you are working in almost companies they will have that catalog this thermal break they have separate catalog and non thermal break sections also they will have a separate catalog for this um, Lewis if you are working in aluminium companies you people will definitely know about Lewis otherwise if you don't know if you are living in Dubai you can see all substations uh, and in all buildings, this electrical room, water meter room, all will have this lower doors. That is lower. For lowest, there is no thermal break. Only non-thermal break sections we are using. Okay. And when we are doing aluminium estimation, first we have to check specification. As per specification, we have to do estimation. For quantity taking, no need for this specifications. If we are doing estimation, we have to check this specifications first. I always whenever we are quoting for aluminium, that first we are checking this specification. In specification only, they will give idea about thermal break and non-thermal break. But in UAE, some Emirates, they are accepting only thermal break sections. I think in Sharjah, it's thermal break sections only using. It's not allowed there, non-thermal break sections. Like that, in Dubai, both sections we can use, thermal break and non-thermal break sections. Like that. In some pla um, places, some projects we are using, UPVC works also we are using. That is almost same like this, but sections and rates are entirely different from aluminium. First, we will explain about some types of openings and how can you recognize from plan. That I will show you. This is types of some door openings. See, this one is single leaf hinged door. Always it's showing in plan like this. Will be in plan. In elevation, we can see this like this. hinged door otherwise it will come like this hinged door in aluminium this hinged or sing doors um, double leaf hinged doors double leaf sing door like that it's coming doors uh, in this one two types are coming aluminium door aluminium door means it's sandwich paneled door and a glazed door also coming that is 
glass is coming in, in shutter glass is coming that is glazed doors if sandwich panel is coming it is aluminium door in some doors half portion will be glazed half portion will be aluminium like that also it's coming otherwise one small glass portion is coming for staircase and all if you see in your buildings you can see this like this one small glass piece is given some one vision panel is provided in aluminium door otherwise in wooden door also it's coming like this next type is single leaf sing door Swing door means, uh, hinged door means we can open in one side only, one direction only we can open this one, um, in inward direction or in outward direction. This one is swing door. Swing door means we can open in both directions. Swing door means um, we can open in both direction, inward and outward we can open that one. Hinged doors we can open in inward direction or in outward direction. Only in one direction we can order. That is hinged doors. Swing doors. Swing doors is coming both single leaf swing door and double leaf swing door. This is double leaf swing door. And in hinged also two types are coming. Single leaf and double leaf is coming. Double leaf hinged door is this one. This is the double leaf hinged door. It's coming in this. We can open one door in inward direction one in outward direction. otherwise one both in inward direction or both in outward this is double leaf hinged door like this is plan is coming and next one is sliding door sliding door means um, we can open this um, any direction we can slide on right way direction or um, left way direction otherwise in both this both shutters we can slide that is sliding doors if you people are staying in flats, you know, in balconies, normally we are providing these sliding doors. Just I am explaining, just if, when you saw one plan, you, you have to identify the symbols. That's why just I am showing this one. Next one is sliding door. Automatic sliding door. Automatic sliding door means... Mm, uh, if you went any malls and all you can see if we are coming in front of door it's opening automatically in supermarkets everywhere it's providing now that's why that, like this doors are automatic automatic machine is providing there no need for slide with manually that's why this is automatic sliding door next type is folding doors uh, normally these folding doors are providing for substations, water meter room. We can save space if we if we are providing these folding doors. That is this just I made a one plan like four leaf folding door. Uh, we can make it like this in uh, six leaf, five leaf, like that it will come. Next type is revolving doors. Revolving doors also for supermarkets. Mm, main entrance buildings, smalls like that we are providing this revolving doors it this area will be rotated like that doors next i will show you some types of window openings this is sliding windows this also same like a sliding door but height will be less for windows that only difference will be there the one portion is sliding one is fixed otherwise both direction we can both shutter we can slide uh, it depends on the plan and elevation. Then fixed windows. Fixed windows also um, we can see in flat sand. And next uh, one type is top hung window. Next one is bottom hung window. Top hung means uh, we can open in shop shop building and all normally providing in curtain walls like this openings. Top hung and bottom hung. Now in this type one more is coming. Mm -hmm. Turn and tilt windows. We can open this window in uh, this as top hung and side hung. That is turn and tilt windows. Next one is uh, side hung windows. In one the same like top hung and bottom hung. In one side we can open. And next one one type is coming curtain walls. Curtain walls. This is curtain walls. In curtain walls, vertical and uh, this normally is coming in buildings curtain walls we are providing normally in buildings and some villas also we are providing if it's two floory like that 
This one is coming as bell members and vertical members are coming in this one. This in cotton wool, this vertical members we are calling mullions and horizontal members we are calling as transoms. And in cotton wool, if we are providing its continuous cotton wool, in some area slabs are coming now. That area, uh, this glass portion, we will give one hard panel behind the glass. In that area, we are telling spandrel panel. Some insulation, rock wool insulation we are providing behind this glass. And now in Dubai, I think it's banned already rock wool. But some other substitute material is there. And uh, whenever we can, the, in this spandrel panel, we cannot see anything outside through this area. Because one solid part will be there. Pillar, slab, beam, anything will be there inside this glass. Inside means inner portion of this glass. From outer we can see like glass. But from inner portion there one beam anything will be there behind this glass. That areas we are providing some insulation and all this is spandrel panel. Spandrel panel. Spandrel panel. This is vision panel. Vision panel means if we are looking from inside of that building we can see everything outside that is vision panel vision is there no spandrel means some uh, hidden items will be there that is spandrel panel in that areas we are providing this spandrel panel spandrel panel and vision panel that is coming in this cut and wall areas and when we are doing aluminium estimation First, we have to check specification. As per specification, we have to do estimation. For quantity taking, no need for this specifications. If we are doing estimation, we have to check this specifications first. When we are getting one tender, sometimes aluminium they are giving, consultants are giving as provisional sum. If it's provisional sum at the tender stage also, when we are getting that work, that work in job in hand, that time we have to take this aluminium quotations. That time we have, when we are an aluminium contractor, we always, whenever we are quoting for aluminium, that first we are checking this specification. In specification only, they will give idea about thermal break and non-thermal break but in UAE some Emirates they are accepting only thermal break sections I think in Sharjah it's thermal break sections only using it's not allowed there non-thermal break sections like that in Dubai both sections we can use thermal break and non-thermal break sections like that in some pla um, places some projects we are using UPVC works also we are using that is almost same like this but sections and rates are entirely different from aluminium different types of cotton walls conventional cotton wall two-way structural glazed cotton wall four-way structural glazed cotton wall four-way capping or stick system normal cotton walls we are telling this conventional cotton wall two-way structural glazed cotton wall means vertical areas we are providing silicone and horizontal we are providing capping that is two-way structural glazed cotton wall four-way structural glaze means vertical and horizontal we are providing silicone and four-way capping or stick system means all joints we are providing capping that i will explain this one in when we are doing detailed in um, this estimation what is capping and all this one when if you want to see images just if you are googling you will get the images of this one uh, in um, aluminium quantity serving next item is uh, coming as um, frameless items frameless frameless this one 
we can see this small entrance and all patch fittings we are using in this one in this one there is no aluminium is coming in frameless system patch fittings we are telling but uh, like a spider system patch stainless steel patch stainless steel spider system like that we are using in this type of frameless systems and uh, next item is coming as handrails 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 also um, we are using glazed handrail and um, aluminium handrails aluminium handrails we are using as balustrade and all detailed aluminium estimation is there and in uh, profile also is there for aluminium a glazed one we are using this laminated glasses for handrails laminated glasses normally laminated glasses uh, if uh, you people are traveling through metro you can see that their all handrails are laminated glasses in laminated glasses there we are providing pvb layers pvb layers in specification they will specify that one pvb layers thickness they will provide how much is the thickness of PVB layer. Depending on that the thickness only, we are deciding the um, rates for this layers, rate for this handra handrails. And that means 0.38 mm PVB layer. That means only one layer is there. One layer thickness is 0.38 mm. Next uh, is coming 0.76 mm. That means two layer pvb layer is there then 1.14 that is three layer then 1.52 that is four layer that means uh, this 0.76 means 0.38 multiplied by 2 0.38 multiplied by 3 0.38 multiplied by 4 like this it's coming pvb layers Next uh, section is coming. Um, tempered glasses. Tempered glass. In handrails, we are providing uh, tempered glass also. Uh, not only laminated glass, or tempered glass also providing uh, with um, top railing aluminium or stainless steel. And that one is uh, depending on specification 6 mm tempered or 10 mm or 12 mm like that it is providing tempered glasses like these items are coming in, in aluminium and pergola also is coming pergola sometimes aluminium pergola is coming uh, and cat ladder is coming aluminium cat ladder like that if any more is coming i will explain when i am explaining about estimation